Pregnancy should be a time of joy and not anxiety for the woman and her family. Do you want to learn more about pregnancy or have questions about fertility and reproductive health? Then join Dr. Linda Van Otu on Facebook and YouTube every Saturday at 4 p.m. on the online pregnancy school as she discusses pregnancy, delivery, and child care with experts. Welcome everybody to another interesting session. We thank God for another day and I hope that you are keeping safe and doing well. Well, the last couple of weeks, we started talking about food taboos in pregnancy. And just to remind a few of us who probably have not had the opportunity of listening to that particular discussion. There are some beliefs and practices that take place in pregnancy. And some of them are to do with the food and things that we put into our mouths as pregnant women. And it's interesting that there are reasons why these beliefs go on, why the women believe that they should not eat certain types of food. And um, over the years, this has been going on. But let me just pause and give us a little bit of statistics. You know, every day, the world records how many pregnant women go to their antenatal, how many deliver, how many unfortunately lose their lives. And it's been said that in a day, just one day, around the world, as many as 810 women lose their lives through pregnancy and complications related to pregnancy. Now, if you look at it annually, it's also a huge number. And then another huge number of newborns, unfortunately born dead, what we call stillbirth, or they die within the first month of their lives. A lot of these deaths are indeed preventable. And this is why we hold the online pregnancy school to give us more knowledge about pregnancy, about delivery, about childcare, about how to take care of ourselves as women, as our children are born, and even for the whole family. This is the online pregnancy school. And my name is Dr. Linda Vanutu. As I say, it is always a pleasure to come your way with the online pregnancy school. Today, I'm going to share with you just some of the beliefs and practices that take place during pregnancy. And in the next couple of weeks, we will continue with that discussion and I will invite other people to join me to do that. But today, it's yours truly, Linda Vanutu, doctor, who is sharing this with you. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button on YouTube. It is Dr. Linda Vanotu. And on Facebook, just follow us and like our page, The Pregnancy School. Just to remind us about one or two of the beliefs about food. One key one that a lot of people know about is that if pregnant women eat eggs, then the children when they are born, will become thieves. But you know, egg is a very good source of protein. And therefore, if we are depriving pregnant women of eating eggs, then it means that they will not have the proteins that they need if they are not eating other sources of protein. And therefore, they will not be as healthy as they should. And if they get into labor, even during the pregnancy, if anything should happen and they are not healthy, then the outcome will not be good. 
another thing that pregnant women are discouraged from eating is fish that has teeth every fish almost every fish has some teeth but some people around the world believe that if you eat fish that has sharp teeth then the sharp teeth will get into the woman's womb and cut the umbilical cord and therefore kill the baby but you see if you look at the anatomy where the womb is and what happens when we eat it is very very far and there's no way that the teeth of the fish would get into the mother's womb and cut the cord and then if when we are eating i believe that we take out the the teeth of the fish so we don't even eat the teeth for the teeth to travel to go and cut the umbilical cord but there might be reasons why people believe this and they do it our duty is just to inform us that when a pregnant woman is eating she needs to eat different types of food and when you go to the antenatal that's why it is very important please to get to the antenatal when you get there and you talk to the midwife or when you talk to the doctor and you don't like one food because of one reason or the other as our uh, guest told us the last time there are alternatives so you'll be given the alternative and that will be good for you so today we are going to continue with that discussion about beliefs and practices that go on during pregnancy and i'm going to talk about the antenatal some of the beliefs that people have some of the practices that go on and what the possible implications are for us let's start with pregnancy itself now a lot of people believe that pregnancy is not just about a woman and a man meeting and the egg being fertilized and the baby starting to develop we have gone through how this takes place in our previous session so please go ahead look for fertilization look for the first trimester and go through and you find how this happens and we've even spoken about how the baby grows so you can get that but it is believed that there is more to it than just a baby growing there's a spiritual aspect we who are christians and i believe others believe that there is god and god is the one who gives us the babies so we believe that the baby is a gift from God but we need to be aware that there's also the physiology the functioning of the body and therefore how this baby grows so if you're a pregnant woman and you think that because this is not just a physical thing that is taking place and therefore if somebody looks at you and knows that you are pregnant that person will harm your baby then that will affect how you respond to your pregnancy Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of pregnant women do not want to let people know that they are pregnant at the beginning of their pregnancies because they believe that somebody with a bad eye can look at them and would affect the baby as the baby grows inside the womb. And it could even happen that this baby would be born with a particular abnormality or the baby would have some other challenges when he or she is born. And as the child grows so as a result of that they do not want to attend antenatal right from the beginning especially when people see that they are vomiting somebody may be asked hey you have vomited are you pregnant no 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 no, no I'm not pregnant because they don't want people to know so you find that a lot of pregnant women refuse to attend antenatal during the first trimester and we have learned about the first trimester so please go back and look for that video and watch it so they don't want to go out during the first trimester to the antenatal for people to know that they are pregnant now when that happens what it does is that it prevents you the pregnant woman of having the care that you need during that time because if you go to the hospital for antenatal during your first trimester there are certain things that you will be taking through. They will talk to you about your health. 
and then they will also use that opportunity to see if there are any existing health problems that they need to address they even use that time to confirm whether it is pregnancy or not because there are some people who miss their periods for one reason or the other but they are not pregnant so the first trimester is important it also helps for the doctors and the midwives to determine when you would deliver so you are prepared right from the beginning to join in your care as a pregnant woman but if you believe that when you are pregnant the first three months nobody should know about it then you would stay at home and you will not go for the antenatal let's go for this short break most welcome back if you have just joined us we are talking about some beliefs and practices in pregnancy and today I am looking at some aspects during the antenatal that is before the woman delivers while she's pregnant and I've just spoken about why some women do not want to attend the antenatal early because they don't want people to know that they are pregnant so what some of them do is that instead of going to the hospital, they would prefer to go to a spiritualist or somebody who would take care of the spiritual side of the pregnancy. As I said earlier, as people who believe in God, we pray. And God has given the midwives and the doctors that grace and the wisdom to be able to do the work they do. So even if you are pregnant and you believe that you should focus on the spiritual side of the pregnancy, which is good, please also go to the antenatal. And if you don't want people around the house to know, you don't have to tell them. You just get up, go to the antenatal. If you are leaving the house, but if it is your husband or somebody you are living with, it is important for you to let them know where you are going. So that if they need to follow up to check on you or when you get to the hospital, there's one reason or the other why somebody should be informed, then you can easily call them. So please, if you're a pregnant woman, you can focus on your spiritual side as you pray, but also be careful what you put into your mouth. We know that some people, when they go to the spiritualist, there are so many things that are done. And some of them are even given some things to drink. Now, let me just say here that during the first trimester, if you look at how the baby is growing, we do not recommend that you take something into the mouth which has not been prescribed because a lot of changes are taking place as this child develops. And if, unfortunately, you take in anything that can disturb the process of this child growing, then you would not be happy with the outcome because something can stop one side of the body from growing well or from joining another part or from going through the process that it has to go through. And therefore, you may deliver a child who unfortunately may be deformed or would have other conditions which you will not want to have. So it's important that as you do this, you also go for the antenatal. So if you have not yet started antenatal clinic because you were afraid that somebody would look at you with a bad eye, please find a way 
of going to the antenatal so that this would be done for you it is very important that this is done now another thing is that some people are given some rituals to go through and if that includes not eating certain types of food or not doing certain things or doing certain things please just trust the midwife and trust the doctor and go there have a discussion with them and let them be aware because they they will not they, they will not sack you because you have gone to a spiritualist but it's important that you go to them you have this discussion with them let them know that you've been asked to probably carry a, a bucket of water every morning or something something that you've been asked to do and i'm sure they will look at it if it is harmless of course you can continue but if it is something that will affect yourself as the mother and your baby as this child grows inside of you they will inform you ladies and gentlemen if you have just joined us this is the online pregnancy school where we give information and we help people to understand more about pregnancy about delivery about child care we are concerned because of the many preventable deaths that take place within the people who are pregnant so there are lots of pregnancies where the women die or the babies die from preventable causes preventable causes mean that if this woman knew or the family knew or did something different then this woman would have survived and the baby would also have survived and one of the things is to understand what happens during pregnancy and that is what we are talking about i've already said that over the next couple of weeks we will be talking about some beliefs and practices that take place during pregnancy it is important to do this because a lot of the things that people do and believe in and therefore practice can have effect on the pregnant woman and also on that child today i started talking about the antenatal and we are going to continue with that for some weeks so that we address some of the beliefs and the practices that take place during pregnancy and please if you have not yet subscribed just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that when we are coming up with new things you will know and on facebook please look for us the pregnancy school on youtube dr linda van Witten. i hope you have enjoyed today's session we will come your way again to continue with the antenatal and some of the practices that go on so remember that the antenatal is key please if you are pregnant don't stay at home find a way of going to the antenatal continue to pray continue to believe in god that this child will grow and grow well as you the mother also grows well but please use the services of the hospital Stay tuned, we'll come your way with a continuation of beliefs and practices in pregnancy. And of course, if you know of any, just send me a message, send me the comment in the comment section, and I will definitely respond. Once again, my name is Dr. Linda Vanuitu, and it is always a pleasure coming your way with interesting topics about pregnancy, delivery, and child care and remember to share this video share with friends share with family and if you know any pregnant woman please share with that woman and let her go through all that we have done they are interesting and important topics that we have addressed because we want to reduce that number do you remember over 800 women around the world die every day because of pregnancy related complications the sad part is that a lot of them are preventable and again around the world in a year we have over two million babies born dead another two million or more die within their first month of life a lot of these again are preventable and that is why we are happy and committed 
to coming your way and bringing you all these sessions so please go back to all the videos there are over 40 of them go back listen to them it will help you it will help somebody else and of course share please share share i hope you have hit that subscribe button dr linda vanotu on youtube and turned on the notification bell so that you'll be informed as we go along have a good day and remember this is just the beginning of the interesting sessions that will be bringing your way a lot of them will go through till we get to when the baby is born some of the practices and the beliefs and some of them you will be amazed bye for now